get official Indians AL Central Champions gear The Indians broke it open in the sixth inning against Royals starter Jason Hamill. Leading by a run, Yandy Diaz and Abraham Almont opened the frame with singles, and after two successive outs, Lindor connected for a double off the left field wall, his third hit of the game, Tribe clinches second straight Al Central title. The pitch that is going to bother me is that pitch to Lindor, Hamill said. I was trying to go up and in, and it drifted over. It was the same pitch he hit two nights ago. It's got to be frustrating for our hitters to continually play from behind, Indians celebrate the title online Austin Jackson drove him in one batter later on a little league home run when he singled up the middle, advanced to second on Lorenzo Cain's throw home, and scored after catcher Drew Buteris wild throw to second went into center field past an out of position Cain to give them a five run cushion. I watched a lot of baseball, that happens from time to time, Indians manager Terry Francona said. When you're a regressive on the bases and you're intelligent, sometimes you can run a team into a mistake. Tribe starter Carlos Carrasco was excellent through most of the game, although the Royals chased him in the seventh inning. Kansas City put together a two-out rally as Alcides Escobar and Butera doubled before Whitmerfield ended Carrasco's outing with an RBI single. Carrasco finished with five strikeouts over six 23 innings of four in ball. The Indians quickly moved on from Friday's loss that ended their American League record 22-game winning stake, but the clubhouse was as positive as ever as the team inches close to a division title. We had good energy, Frankener said. I was happy about that. I didn't think we would NT win, but it's nice to see them go right back to trying to be as good of a team as we can be. Moments that mattered Lindor sets franchise record Lindor's double was significant not only because it helped break open the game, but it also set a single-season franchise record. With his 10th straight game with an extra base hit, Lindor surpassed Hal Trosky, who did it in nine straight games in 1934. More greater than HE's got a ton of tools, which everybody sees, Frank Oner said. An HES a really hard worker, an HES a smart kid. That's kind of why a couple years ago, we were so excited about him getting here. He's one of the better players around. So many different ways he can impact a game. Miller time Francona mentioned before the game that Andrew Miller may not be used as scheduled on Sunday for his second outing since coming off the 10-day disabled list with right knee patella tendonitis. That's because Miller was available on Saturday, and he got the Indians out of a key jam. Entering as Carrasco came out of the game in the seventh, Miller coaxed an easy line-out from Kane to end the threat for the only batter he faced. I felt crisp and sharp, and I wasn't worried about my knee, Miller said. I was worried about trying to get Lorenzo Kane out, which is not the easiest thing, but that's where I need to be mentally. That's the fun part of the game, when you can go out there and compete, and not worry about pitching through some sort of injury or whatever. I think I did a good job, and as much as I would they love to throw 20 pitchers and go back out for the next inning, I think that I was put in this place for a good reason. Today is a good day. Quotable in watching the fight. In watching the Canelo fight, eating pizza. Lindor, on where the hell watch tonight's Twins Blue Jays game watch next Royals left-handed Annie Duffy 88, 3.78 era is expected to be activated on Sunday to start the series finale against the Indians at 12.10 p.m. CT a progressive field. Duffy, who has been on the disabled list with a low-grade pronator strain, last pitched on August 22nd, a 32 win over the Rockies in which he went six innings and gave up two runs. Indians ace Corey Kluber 164, 2.44 will start against the Royals on Sunday at 1.10 p.m. E.T. as the Indians wrap up the 10-game homestand. Kluber has eight quality starts in his last nine outings with the exception being his only other start against the Royals this season. He held them to one run over five 13 innings before being lifted with a right ankle sprain. Watch every out of market regular season game live on MLB TV. Ben Weinrub is a reporter for MLB.com based in Cleveland. Follow him on Twitter at Ben Weinrub. Jeffrey Flanagan has covered the Royals since 1991 and for MLB.com since 2015. Follow him on Twitter at Flanimpan. This story was not subject to the approval of Major League Baseball or its clubs.